Game on, and welcome back to Empty Cloak Gaming. Welcome back to another episode of Hitman Blood Money. Pro difficulty run without equipment. My name is Cloak. And today, Amendment 25. I thought you said you killed him. It was a very brief reprieve. We raided the agency a few days ago. You got him at his office? No. But the office has been closed and will not open again. What a bad. You got the Ortmeier files. They're still in circulation. But we learned that the files are almost entirely useless without a fresh bone marrow sample from 47. So even dead, he's a threat. Only until he's cremated. About 20 minutes from now. How'd you finally get him? He got overconfident and greedy. He took on the most difficult, most highly paid assassination attempt in history. The presidential attack? The very one you asked about at the start of our conversation. Ready to hear how it really went down? September 22nd, 2005. We're all quite pleased to have you on this assignment, Mr. 47. The nation's gratitude. Skip the patriotism, Smith. Of course. Have you read the briefing? Not yet. Give me the big picture. The Vice President of the United States is plotting with Mark Parchesi. I assume you're familiar with him? I know his work. Good. They're planning to assassinate the President as soon as he gets back from Los Angeles. Another drink, sir? Please. There's more detailed info on both men in the briefing. Can I do anything else for you? I'm looking forward to finally working with you. I'll contact you if I need more information. Beyond that, never contact me in person again. <laughs> right, you might not live the second time. I mean, we do recall that scene, right? Sorry, gentlemen. My niece's birthday. Oh, my heart bleeds for you. Happy birthday, sweetheart. Did you get your present? It's everything I've ever wished for. Yeah, of course, your niece is an assassin. White House. Is the roof alarm ticking? She's there? growing up really yes, fast. Pumpkin. Everything is just fine. Asking for a puppy one day. And the next I'll birthday, a semi-automatic rifle. I'm so proud of her. <laughs> you know how little girls are. Okay, let me just cut to the chase and save a lot of time. The yeah, 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 yeah. Same shit. Start. Okay, no problem. We're gonna kill Daniel Morris fellow and Mark Vincesi the third here. And this is why you have nothing in the game level anyway. So getting into the White House isn't that hard. Just walk in the door. And into this room here. Oh, dang it! You arrive early. Crap. I'll have to wait for him to come back. I need to sedate him and take his uh, clothing. So I'll have to wait for him to show back up. I'll just go through the map then, real quick. In the Oval Office, that's where the assassin is, and we're gonna have to lure him out, or chase him out. Oh, our suit showed up. Now, I need the museum staff man suit here, so that I can get a uh, Marine's uniform. Because the museum, the museum staff only has access to the first front of this wing of the White House. However, the Marines can go through the whole wing. This is the only available guy I can find. So, it's nothing personal, man. I understand you're doing your job, but I just need your uniform. And maybe your rifle. As a preamble, I do know how to silent assassin this level, but for that I need a sniper rifle 
to uh, flick off Mark Pinchesi the third. Unfortunately, I don't get the privilege of bringing a sniper rifle on this run due to previous rules set. So, I'm just going to openly say Silent Assassin is out on this level. I mean, I guess I could figure out an alternative method, but yeah, I'm lazy. But we got the right uniform now. So I need to steal the security tape because the uh, White House is just loaded, jam-packed with security cameras. All right. Oh, I dropped my gun. Sorry about that, sir. Oh, and of course, I need the key card. Also, wouldn't help to have some extra ammunition. Although I would like a tiny pistol, because I'm out of sedation stuff. However, he'd catch me getting it. Oh well. <sighs> Carrying on then. Just got to make my way over to where uh, the vice president is. The uh, gentleman from the cutscene who got the phone call. Now, he has a dog hanging around him. At least he will. There he is. Let's go all the way across to get him. I mean, the main thing that makes this level difficult is, one, it's got some major scripted points on it, so... They actually want you to gunfight with, uh, Pinchesi to a certain degree. Government employees only, sir. Okay, so I need a, uh... Another uniform, don't I? Okay. So I need a government employee uniform, that would mean Secret Service. What a shame. I don't have a pistol to make this next part easy, but all right. Come on, get out of the room. You're gonna make this hard. And I need the right equipment. On the other end of the White House, you have the Secret Service Office. I believe their uniforms can go anywhere. Oh, sh don't do that. That's gonna hurt. Problem is, it's not gonna be easy to grab a hold of a Secret Service man's uniform. Especially since I'm out of uh, sedative. Eventually, a Secret Service man's gonna walk out that door there and go for a smoke break. That's our opportunity to grab the man, somehow knock him out, or kill him, whatever is more convenient. Again, I don't have a gun, so I can't just kidnap him. And, uh, take his suit. I'm out of sedatives, I don't have a pistol. I get the feeling this dude's dying. I also need to take the key card off him, which gives me access to this end of the White House as well. So I get to the Oval Office, chase Francesi out, and then kill him. And look, the First Lady is cheating on her husband. Yeah, well, of course. Oh, there he is. Oh, yes. You're done for. Oh, no. Sweet. That was easy. See, drag him away before someone sees him. Around the, uh, dome here. They're gonna see the blood stains, but there's nothing I can do about that.
Okay, I'm gonna let you live then. Good job. MP5, I don't remember if that's a kidnap weapon or not. Need your key card. H have a good evening, sir. Just just sleep it off. Nothing bad's gonna happen to you. Oh boy. Now to get the uh vice president and his little dog too. I'll get you, my pretty, and your little dog too. <laughs> Maybe I can catch him without the dog. Make sure it's not being patrolled, okay. I don't see any marines in there. Should have full access to the building. Excellent. You might frisk me. Please don't frisk me. Good. Secret service. And there's our victim. Excellent. Sir! I'm here to protect you. I heard there is an assassin on the grounds looking to kill you. You really should do something about that smoker's cough, you know? I hear smoking's really bad. Or, do you need a cough drop or something? Sir? Tell you what. Just, just relax. I've got this, uh... Call it cough medicine. Hey, right, cough medicine, here you go. This will help you with your cough. You'll never cough again. He's not gonna cough again. I don't care if they find his body because I'm already throwing Silent Assassin out a 10-story window. We're about to get to the main reason why. Okay. Mark Vincenzi the third, when I chase him out of there, he'll run out of the wing, run up here, and stand near here somewhere. So, he's a bit of an idiot. And it's real easy to plot for his downfall. Just give him a little bit of self detonation. Oh my goodness, bloodstains! Who died? No one, I didn't kill him yet. Alright. Let's go chase uh, Mark the III out. See the cameras? That's why we stole the videotape. This place is full of them. From the bottom to the top. Let's just go quickly chase the assassin out. Get a little cutscene when you do that, but whatever. Open the door. Pity this place is kind of set up like a maze. Oval Office. So, you're the famous Mark Parchesi the Third. You don't want to kill me. Oh, I've been saying his name right. I'm just like you. Oh well. Similar. Victim number two would be better. We're practically brothers. You can't shoot me. I can do whatever I'm paid to. Oh! Blew the door up. Wow. You're a great guy. Wasting explosive devices on doors. Dumbass. Okay, well, he's gonna run up there. Where we'll, uh, fix him. Just blow him up with my pre-placed explosive device. We're gonna follow the workers out. We're evacuating. And he should be on his way to being in place. Run, run, Forrest, run! Aha! He'll get me! I'm smart, I'm stealthy! He'll never catch me! This has got to be the longest 40 seconds of my life. Let's hope I place the bomb in the right spot. We shall see. Got him! Okay, just escape! Uh, I might want to go get my mar yeah yeah I want to get my marine uniform back just in case safety precaution being what it is
I'll say one thing. What'd he say exactly? Was it... We're practically brothers. You can't shoot me. Well, he had one thing right. I didn't shoot him. Not a single shot was fired this night. At least, not by me. I want to wait for to calm down just a bit for switching clothes. So yeah, there's a guy up here. Oh shit. Quick Marine Corps. Oh wait, it's my rifle! What do with my rifle? You pest! Ah! Welcome to being dead. Found his ass. He can. I don't care. I'm right. This is why I switched clothing. So he's like, "Oh, hey! Someone stole this guy's stuff!" Quick! And I'm just a uh, busy, everyday marine. I am not an icky, icky hitman. I did not steal somebody's clothes. And I'm lost. Oh, that's the door. Back in my suit. And get out of here. Oh god. <laughs> drop the body, drop the body! <laughs> oh hoy, my gun might make noise. I'll take it over here and drop the gun. Out here it wouldn't be noticed as much. Well... He's gonna analyze that body. Realize he's out like a light. I'll go about my per my uh, patrol as long as no one finds my marine. I'm not too worried. Out of hell if it brazen works. Alright, I can just walk out the door. I'm unarmed? Bullshit, I do have a stolen gun, but I don't care. Escape! One witness, and that would be the guy who I knocked out with my fists because I didn't have any sedatives left. Normally, I would have a pistol with me, so I could simply capture the, uh, Secret Service man, knock him out the pistol, which is like using a sedative, but... Oh well. Noise is probably a bit high, too. Yeah, see, because the explosive. Hired killer. Alright. Not too bad, though. Bribe a civilian? Eh, whatever. Couple bucks and he'll forget all about being grabbed and knocked out. Hired killer wanted by the police. Yep. That is the last level in the standard uh, Hitman Blood Money list. The last level of the game is more for cinematics and shows than anything else. So I will add that level to this particular episode. And we'll do that now. The last level.
47 Diana. What are you doing here? Easy. I had to sneak in. The place is surrounded by hundreds of SWAT members right now. They're getting ready to move in. I had to warn you, there's still time for you to escape. I've got a plan. I don't buy it. You've got nothing to gain here. The smart way would have been getting out of the country. Out of the country? We're dealing with a franchise here, 47. Borders don't stop them. You're my last chance. You know my terms. Cash on the nail. Don't you get it? You have to fight them. But if you try to do it alone, you're a dead man. Death is always a risk. Read carefully, 47. It's a bold plan. Where is this wheelchair guy right now? <laughs> ah! Bitch! Ah! You're buying me one more night. Well, here you go. You just can't trust people. We've got four minutes before he's called, people. Let's move. I've never actually killed a man before. It was surprisingly pleasant. Very nicely done, Diana. You've earned my trust. Welcome to the franchise. I'm sure we'll find an appropriate... Oh, okay. The so the former director of the FBI is actually a criminal. I forgot about that detail. Special role, indeed. That assassination test was the most reported story since 9-11. How can you expect me to believe that- I don't expect you to believe anything but your eyes. This videotape confirms his presence in the White House moments before the assassination. I'll be damned. If cloning isn't outlawed, we'll all be damned. Who actually killed him? That's the most delicious irony of all. He stumbled coming over the compound wall, severed his spinal cord on the rocks. The world's most nefarious assassin died of clumsiness. How'd you confirm his identity? His DNA includes signature sequences from the five men of the Ortmeier project. It's biologically impossible for anyone but the Ortmeier clone to have that DNA. You're giving me all this as an exclusive. Why me? We admire your Yes, activities. Diana's actually on your side the Thank entire you. time. Don't mention it. Remember that uh, sedative stuff we used on a certain agent in a previous level? Take pride of place on my mantle. Chaplain. She just did the same thing for us. Chaplain. Now this level though is a pain because you had to kill everybody here, and you're such an easy target. Okay, so how do I get him up again? Fake credit. Come on. Get up. I know you're not dead. There we go. Don't shoot. Ah, shit. Should have shot him first. That's what makes this level a pain because you jump up, you die almost instantly. Take two. This time, we'll shoot the guy with machine gun first. Book it. This is the worst level in this game, because of everything you've learned up to this point throughout playing the game, you throw it out the window and play this level. You have to actually gun everybody down. Get up. Don't shoot. Oh shit, I didn't die.
Okay, I actually have a chance at this one. I just gotta take out the preacher and the, uh... Newspaper, man. Oh, this level's a pain. It takes a freaking miracle to actually pull it off. You have to quite literally exploit one of the game's mechanisms with headshots just to get a sliver of health back as you're dying to finish it, and even then you're not likely to pull it off, because you can only do that once. After you do that once, you're suddenly vulnerable to everything else. It's one more shot and you're done for. So which means if the preacher or the uh, photographer picked up a gun, this is over. Hoping the preacher didn't, because I think I saw him pick one up previously, but you know what? Oh good. He wasn't smart enough to do that. That level is total garbage. It's complete BS. They knew that when they made it. Even if you had equipment, you couldn't bring it to here anyway. It has nothing to do with anything else. Enjoy the end cutscene. Yes, Your Majesty. Almost all of our resources are online again. No, I'm afraid he's not, Your Majesty. We seem to have completely lost track of him. Ah, hello, uh, Mr. Johnson. Welcome, Mr. Johnson. Welcome. May I check your briefcase? No, I'll keep it. I've heard interesting things about your establishment. I'd like to see what you have to offer. Preferably in the back. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, right this way. And the curtain's closed. Okay. Well, I'm not watching through the credits, sorry. Okay, that concludes this pro difficulty run of Hitman Blood Money. Oh, that last level's a pain, though. I mean, outside of that last level, the game's pretty good. And further proof, I will show that I did not upgrade any weapons. We're sending you down to the other end of the state, 47. So, as you can see, targets a gangster by the name of Vinny no upgrades. He's in a witness protection program pending a court appearance later this month. Sight. Our client wants to be sure Sinistra doesn't make it to the witness box. Sinistra's also got some hard evidence None. that can't be allowed to. And with that, thank you all for watching. I've been Cloak. Have a good day. Damn, I hate that last level.